In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create quiz questions in Articulate Storyline. One of the great things about Storyline is that creating quiz questions is really easy and that once you've created your basic question, you can go into slide view and customize the look and feel of your quiz to match your course design. So here's a good example of that. In this case, we have a quiz question that's a little bit different looking than our standard quiz question. We've got a nice rich look with the background image and you can see we changed the layout and structure of the quiz question. And that's the same thing here. We've got one where we've got a nice background, we've got some images, and then we also have a different look on our question choices. Now when you first open Storyline, you create a quiz question, you're going to get a default look that's kind of like this. So you can add your question, you can add your choices, and there's typically some sort of media in the corner. And this is fine. You can build your quiz questions really fast. But what if you want to make your quiz questions look a lot better or if you want to make them look like they fit with your course? The nice thing with Storyline is that you can go from form view, which is that starting view, to slide view and you can customize the look and feel of your quizzes. So in this case, we can take something like this and in just a few minutes, we can create a quiz question that looks more like this. And we'll actually do this as a practice activity so you can get some practice building your quiz questions. And we'll start by inserting a new quiz question. So go to Insert, New Slide, and then you'll see that you have a few options here. One of the tabs is Quizzing, and you'll notice up here you've got some choices. So we can do graded questions, surveys, or freeform questions. We're going to choose a graded question. And then if you look down here, you have all of your standard grading question options. For this tutorial, we'll choose a multiple choice question. When you insert the quiz question, you're going to get this form. And the form is going to allow you to add your question content. So we can insert a question. We can insert our choices. We can determine our correct choice. Down here, we can add our feedback. You can see we can customize the feedback. And then you'll always get a thumbnail preview of the question that you're building. And then you can see over here we can switch between form view and slide view. And then up here you'll have your question choice options. So you can choose uh, how the question's displayed. You can determine how you want to score it. And you can also insert some additional media. Let's go ahead and create a basic quiz question. So we'll add who was the first president. And then we're going to add our choice by clicking in here. And then we'll select our correct choice. And then down here we can customize our feedback. Now you'll notice that Storyline created some default feedback. But if you want to change that, just double click and then you can add your own text. The other thing is you can come over here and click on the More button. And that opens up a feedback box. And so you can see that over here you can add your own text. You can add some audio. And then over on this side, you can determine the branching based on the choice that the learner made. We're going to go ahead and keep this by default, so we'll hit Cancel. And you'll notice over here that you can add a point value for your questions. Now you can add point values right here based on these answers, or you can add them based on the choices. So if you want to change that, you can come up here to your scoring. And right now it's being scored by the question, or you can score it by choice. And when you do that, you can see now the point values are here and then you can give uh, different point values based on different choices. And then you can also control how many times they can answer that question. Now what we want to do is insert a media file. So we'll just go ahead and click on Media. We'll choose a picture. And you should have this White House image. Go ahead and select that. And now you'll notice that you have the media here. And when you look at your thumbnail, you can start to see your question being constructed. So you can see your question, you can see the choices, and you can see the media. Let's preview this and see what it looks like. Now we have a basic quiz question. So we have our question, we have our choices, and then we have our media. I can zoom in, zoom out, I can select my choice, and then down here I have my Submit button. So this is a really fast way to build your quiz questions. Open up the form, add your content, and you're done. But what if you want to make your quiz question look different? Or what if you want it to match the look of your course? Well, that's easy enough to do when you switch from form view to slide view. Let's see how that works. So right now we're in form view. and We're going to come over here and click on slide view. When I click on slide view, I'm looking at the slide just like I would any other slide in Storyline. So what you'll notice is down here I have a timeline. I also have my States tab. Over here I have my slide layers. 
and then up here I have my triggers. Now you'll notice that Storyline created some default incorrect and correct slide layers based on the quiz question. You can always customize that by just clicking on the slide layer and then adding your own content. So it works just like any other slide layer that you have in Storyline. And you can also add additional slide layers. Now if you want to customize the way the feedback layer looks, go ahead and go to View, Feedback Master, and at this point you can see all the different layers that you have and you can customize those and make them look like you need to. We're just going to keep everything by default. Now let's go ahead and make our slide look a little bit different. So I'm going to come to the base layer. What I want to do is rearrange this so it looks more like this slide. So we're going to delete this image. So I select it, I hit delete. Now when I delete it I'm going to get this form shape and that came from the form so I'm going to delete that because I don't need it. And what I want to do now is arrange my choices. So to do that I just select a choice and you'll notice I have this box here and this is my form. So if I select the box I can move this. So I'll move this in position. And then I can move these choices within this box. So I can take atoms and click on that and drag that. Now before I do that I want them to all be sized the same way. So I'm going to select atoms. I'll hit the shift key and then I'll select the other two. Then I'm just going to drag their anchor points so that I've made the choices a little bit smaller. And then we'll select these and I can just move them around. Now I'm just going to move them into place. I don't even need to worry about them being aligned because I'll show you how we do that. So I just want to move this over a little bit. So now I can see that they're lined up. The problem is they're not aligned the way I want them to. That's easy to fix. I just hit Shift and select them all. Then I can come up to the Format Options and you can see I have the Arrange tool. So we'll click on that and you can see the alignment. And then what I want to do is align them by bottom. So now they're all lined up on the bottom. Then I'll select this again. And we want to distribute them horizontally. So now they're going to be equally spaced. And that looks pretty good to me. I could nudge it over a little bit just because I want the choice shapes a little more to the right. So now we can go ahead and start to add some of our visuals. First thing I want to do is add a background image. So we'll go to Insert, Picture. You should have this flag image. Go ahead and insert that. I'm just going to scale this to fit on my slide. And this is going to be on the background so I'm just going to move this down to the bottom. So now it's on the background. And as a good habit I'm going to type in flag. And I usually type in BG for background. And then I'm going to lock it because I don't want to accidentally move it. Now the flag is great. The problem is I can't really see anything. And the flag's a little bit distracting. So let's tone it down a bit by adding a shape. So we'll insert a shape. And I'm just going to format it first. So I want to get rid of the outline. Double click on the shape. Go to Shape Outline. Choose No Outline. And we're going to fill this with a darker color. So I'll choose this kind of dark gray. And then I want to make it somewhat transparent. So right click, Format Shape. And I'm going to type in 5%. Hit OK. Now what I get is I get a darker slide where the flag is visible but it's not distracting. And again I want to move this down to the bottom and I'll lock it. So now I've got a nice little background with some texture to it but I can't see anything. So we're going to keep this real simple. We're going to select all of the text and we're going to go over to the Home button and we'll change the font color to white. The other thing is I'm going to change all the font to Open Sans. I'll select this. I'm going to make this bold and we'll nudge this up a little and I'll just nudge this into position. And this looks good for the demo. Now what we want to do is add our president images. So let's go to Insert, Picture. And you can hold down the Control key and select all three images at one time and insert them. Now what I want to do is scale them. So I need to make sure I have them all selected. So I'm going to hit Control and then click on these. So they're all selected. Then I'm going to hold the Shift key down and drag from one of the corners. And I can scale the images down. That looks pretty good. And then I just need to put them into position. So this is George Washington. 
This is Jefferson and this is John Adams. And this looks pretty good for us. We'll preview this and let's see what it looks like. Now you'll notice one thing is it looks fine, but see how the titles are different than the image. So this is actually Adams, but it says Jefferson. And same thing, this is Washington, but this is actually Jefferson. So what's happening is that the answer choices are being shuffled. These pictures are going to stay where they're at, but the choices are being shuffled. So when you create something like this and you're using the choice and you're matching it to an image on the screen or a video, then you need to make sure you're not shuffling the answers. If you shuffle the answers, these will always move, but the other content on the screen is going to stay where it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and fix that. We're going to click on our form view. We can come over here to shuffle answers. We don't want that to shuffle, so let's hit none. And now when we preview this slide, they're always in the right position. And that's basically it. We learned how to create our quiz question in form view. So we added our content very quickly. And then we were able to go to slide view and customize the look and feel of the quiz question. Now a couple things to keep in mind. When you're in slide view, you can use as many layers as you want. You can add interactive capabilities. You can use the timeline, add animations. Anything that you can do on the slide, you can do with your quiz questions. So you can make them as visually rich and interactive as you'd like them to be. Now it's just a matter of you practicing this activity and then going out and building your own quiz questions.